Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, The Twins Academy. Today we will discuss the topical MCQ related with the nuclear physics topic and the subtopic is detection of different type of radiation based on their different properties or characteristics. So let's start the revision of topical MCQs. An alpha particle is same as, we know that alpha particle can be represented by 2 alpha 4 or helium 2 4. Beta particles are fast moving electrons or minus 1 and 0 while gamma radiations are high frequency electromagnetic waves. So the first option, the helium nucleus option A is the correct answer for alpha particles. High speed electrons, they represent beta particles and electromagnetic radiations of shorter wavelength represents gamma rays. Because they are high frequency electromagnetic waves. So when frequency will be higher, obviously wavelength will be shorter. Okay, number two. The diagram represents two helium nuclei. They have the same speed, so same mass and same charge. So they are moving directly towards each other. Which statement is correct? Since we know that nucleus carry positive charge and obviously this nucleus also carry positive charge. So like charge is always repel each other. So attraction and attraction. So these two options are cancelled out. Now repulsion and repulsion. What is written over here? Net loss in their energy. Since they are moving with the same speed, so law of conservation of energy is being applied and according to it, total energy always remains constant. So which option is correct? Option D is the correct answer. A radioactive source is placed 2 cm in front of a GM tube, which is connected to a meter. Different absorbers are placed between the tube and the radioactive source. The results are shown. In air, it is 2600 counts per minute. In presence of paper sheet, it's 2600. In presence of aluminum sheet, it's 1500 and in presence of lead sheet, it is 800. We know that alpha particles are stopped by paper. Beta particles can be stopped by aluminum sheet and gamma rays are stopped by thick lead sheet. Now just look here. When there is no absorber, what was the actual reading? 2600. So, this is the source paper, aluminum, lead sheet. Without absorber, what was the value? Twenty six hundred. After placing the paper, it remains twenty six hundred. So it's mean there were no alpha particles. So these two options are being crossed because if alpha particles were present, then definitely in presence of paper, there should be prominent change in the reading. Now, after placing the aluminum, the value for the reading becomes 1500. It's mean aluminum has stopped some sort of beta particles. Okay. And there are no beta particles in option D. And after placing the lead sheet, it becomes 800. So, it's mean now gamma are present as well as beta. So, which option is correct? Option C is the correct answer. So you can solve these questions by these diagrams as well.
which of the following possibilities about alpha particle is not true they can be deflected by magnetic field yes because since they are positively charged particle they can be deflected by electric field yes they are charged particle they can be detected by spark counter yes they are charged particles and they are radioactive so this option is not true since they are helium nuclei how do ionizing abilities of beta particles and gamma rays compare with ionizing ability of alpha since we know that alpha particles are most ionizing so ionization of alpha particle is larger than the ionization of beta and ionization of beta is larger than the ionization of gamma so alpha rays are most ionizing while gamma are least ionizing so as compared to alpha beta has less and as compared to beta gamma has less so option a is the correct answer the table shows the possible properties of radioactive emissions which emissions could be beta particles okay on beta particles we know that they carry negative charge so they are charged yes they are charged they show deflection in magnetic field yes so now two options are there level of ionization yes they ionizes so v now you can see which option is correct option c is the correct answer okay ji a pupil investigates the penetrating power okay now this is related with the penetrating power of a radioactive source background radiation was 25 counts per minute okay and background radiations are those radiations which always present in atmosphere due to different sources or reasons count with source only means there was no absorber count with source and paper so after placing paper is there any change no so it's mean alpha particles are not present count with source and aluminum absorber of 3 mm now reading has drastically changed 630 to 180 so it's mean beta part present but now you can see still reading is not equal to the background radiation still there is a too much difference so it's mean along with beta what kind of radiations will exist gamma so which option is now correct since alpha no beta not only gamma not only so beta particles and gamma rays is the correct option so option b is the correct answer okay which particle is positive charge we know that alpha particle positive beta negative electrons negative neutrons neutral so which option is correct positively charged particles are alpha particles x y and z are the three type of radiations x is almost absorbed by 5 cm lead so lead stops gamma but not by 5 mm aluminum okay why is almost completely absorbed by 5 mm aluminum so it's mean beta z absorbed by thin card or plastic sheet so gamma so x represents gamma y represents beta and this and obviously z represents sorry it will be alpha by mistake and it has written gamma so it will be alpha and z represents alpha so which option is correct now option d is the correct answer so when dealing with the radioactive substances there are possible dangers okay which is the correct option 
So just start it from option D. Radioactive materials are safe to enter after two half lives. No, still they are very dangerous even to half lives. So option D is the wrong answer. Materials that emit only alpha particles must be kept in thick lead containers. All radioactive materials should be kept in thick lead containers. So gamma radiation is more dangerous than alpha or beta because it has longer half life. So no, no way. Longer half life doesn't doesn't mean that these radiations are dangerous. Alpha, beta, and gamma both it, all of these are dangerous. Now option A. Obviously, option A is being left. So beta particles can pass through skin and damage body cells. Alpha particles can be stopped by skin. Please keep this in mind. This is an interesting question. A radioactive source is placed three centimeter from a GM tube in air. Okay, the average count rate is so initial reading 742 counts per minute. 742. Okay. Then in Three experiment measurements are taken with sheet of different materials placed between the source and the tube. The results are recorded in the table. Okay, thin card. Actual reading was 742. Now it has changed. So it's mean alpha are present. Aluminum foil. Now there is no drastic change. It is due to the reason of random nature of the radiation. So it's mean there are no beta radiations. Now lead sheet, yes. Now it has drastically changed from 275 to 68. So it's mean gamma are present as well. So now which option is correct? Beta, no. Beta, no. Beta, no. So option B is the correct answer. Okay, G. See you in the next video with the remaining MCQ. Take care. Assalamu alaikum and bye bye.